Welcome back, everyone. I was rocking out to the music. Rocking out to the do 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and talk about skill builder, not the music. With us today, we have Rob. Hey, Rob, how's it going? What's up, Aaron? What's up, Kyle? Good to see you both. It's good to see you. Happy great, Friday. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. So, Rob comes to us from the skill builder team. For those who are just joining, my name is Aaron Hunter, a senior technical trainer with AWS Training and Certification. We have Kyle Dickinson, who is not from training and certification. However, I'm with the customer incident response team where we support customers during active security events. And we have our wonderful ASL interpreter, Danny, helping us and uh, to communicate the message out to each one of you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. We are streaming live to LinkedIn and Twitch. Rob, so let's go ahead and talk more about AWS Skill Builder. Um, I know it's been around for a little while. I've used it. We have over 500 courses available, but you're here to talk about something new, aren't you? Yeah, man, I'm going to get into it. Uh, I want to um, talk about a couple things here. So um, for, for anyone who's not familiar with Skill Builder, um, we launched in October of just last year. Skill Builder is an online learning center optimized for the on-demand digital learning experience. So here's the situation. Um, there's a tremendous amount of interest and enthusiasm in moving to uh, the cloud and using the cloud, but there's this problem. There's this gap between the skills companies need uh, and um, the, uh, the existing skill sets in their job candidate pool. On the flip side of that, we have professionals who want to move into a career uh, um, in technical cloud roles. They're struggling to gain the right proficiency. Uh, to meet the requirements of those open tech roles. So in comes Skill Builder. Skill Builder is here to help close that gap and provide individuals with the tools to grow their skills and increase that proficiency. As you were mentioning, Aaron, um, we have thousands of free courses uh, available in 19 languages. So we have a global presence, um, uh, widely available. They're covering a variety of AWS cloud domains and job roles, and they move from fundamental concepts into advanced concepts and ideas. Um, real quick, creating a new account, it's totally free. Uh, you can use your amazon.com credentials to sign in and, and start Wait, consuming on. some of our learning content. I have an Echo device next to me and there's a wake word for that, that device. And my wake word is free. And you said, I think you said it. So I'm awake. Hello? What was that word? Uh, register Aaron Hunter on Skill Builder. For free 99. For free. Wow. Okay. Is that your password Rob, that, for free 99? It, <laughs> it's not my password, but Frugal. that's really cool. So <laughs> we're we're allowing over 500 courses just to be accessed for free if they register on Skill Builder. Correct. That's right. Perfect. There's really no point to, to not jump in. Uh, and we're going to see in a minute when I start going through the product here, um, how easy it is to jump right in uh, right. and uh, and start consuming some content and learning and some so new skills. I, I do know that, um, you know, when... I was at uh, previous roles before AWS. Um, one of the big things was trying to make sure that everyone was able to be accessible to this training, but also kind of understand where everyone is at their point in training uh, to understand, are they ready for the next you know, advanced step? Is there any sort of like, you could say management of teams um, that organizations can leverage out of the skill builder uh, service to help with their teams and their growth as they look to move to AWS? Well, yes, Kyle, there is, as it happens. So uh, uh, in addition to all of our free content, we also offer subscriptions to premium content. And there's two flavors of subscriptions. There's an individual one uh, for learners looking to jump in and, and sort of drive their own learning experience. And then we have team subscriptions. Team subscriptions are available to our organizations. Um, that want to uh, you move their teams into some training content. We offer a variety of self-service functionality to uh, organizations, learning administrators, allows them to create users, enroll them in content, and run reports uh, on that learning activity. That helps them really easily measure the return on the investment of, of uh, our, our learning product. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you, so at um, Reinforce 2022, you know, we were at the Threat Detection Incident Response booth and hosting a show specifically for security topics. One of the main questions I get is, where do I start? And so it sounds like I should just be saying, have you checked out Skill Builder? Well, have you asked Rob where to start? Yeah, that's right. And uh, Go hopefully we've got some folks asking not, that not question yet. now. Rob, not where yet. do we start? Where do we start? <laughs> there we go. So let's take a look here, shall we? 
All right, let's bring up your screen. Oh, there it is. Here we are. We are we are signed into Skill Builder. Easy as that. Okay, so we talked about um, how much content there is. Well, that can also be overwhelming, and we hear a lot from customers. Okay, I want to learn, but I have no idea where to start. And the fact is, we have so much content. Sometimes that can be overwhelming for people who aren't who aren't sure where to start. So I've got two answers for you. The first is, if you have no idea what you're interested in in learning about. I'm going to recommend we start with a catalog we call featured content. I'm going to scroll down to it right here. And we're going to dig into this just a bit. So featured content is just a small set of curated uh, content that we've chosen to, to push in front as, a, as sort of a first step into the cloud. These are all fundamental courses that give a broad range of information across different service domains uh, and job roles. A lot of these are pretty short. I mean, you have, you know, we're all busy people right and, and a lot of us have kids and a lot of us have jobs and a lot of us have all this stuff going on um skill builder is great because it's on demand and it allows you to come and go as fits your schedule a lot of these courses you can tell they're under uh, an hour long um, you can jump in take a little bit of it pause it sign out come back later you can come back later uh that weekend you can come back in two months and pick up right where you left off and when I come back, do I have to start all over again? Uh, you said just now, pick up right where you left off. So I'm guessing it saves my place. It sure does. Yeah, it's another benefit of, of this on-demand experience. I'm three hours into my six hours of, uh, of Cloud Practitioner Essentials. I'm going to jump right into where I left off and continue down my journey. Awesome. And, you know, not to hijack it, but we have Cloud Practitioner Essentials. You're bringing that up right now. And that there's also the uh, Get Certified Challenge as well. So maybe people can use this as a resource as part of that challenge. Big shout out there, Aaron. I was going to get to it here. You can navigate to some of our other modalities, like our classroom training, as well as AWS certification. So big shout out to the ongoing uh, Certified Cloud Practitioner Challenge we have going on. So let me get this right, Aaron. Um, all, in, all our listeners have to do is sign up. They just follow the recommended exam preparation path and they can, they're can they eligible for 50% off the cost of an exam when they take it through our, our test prep, uh, provider PSI, correct? Kind of. I don't want to take it away from you, but um, when they register for the Get Certified Challenge, then they get 50% off. It takes a couple of days because we process that. So they register, they wait a little while, a day or two or so, and then we'll email them a 50% off voucher code that they can use. But yeah, I... Again, nice. I don't want to take it away from your presentation. I really am interested in Skill Builder and all the opportunities to learn from that platform. I like that. Kyle, you have all 12 uh, certifications already, right? Uh, yes, maybe. You have the secret <laughs> one? I have the 14th one, actually. It's called um, being cool. Hanging out with Aaron, Aaron's friend. There we go. Yeah. Well, and that's the professional <laughs> level certification, that, too. Yep. Um, so I see that you also, folks. it's really hard to get 12 certifications. <laughs> yes. Um, so you also introduced classroom training as well. Now that to me, so I, um, you know, kind of the open a can of worms. I learn in very different ways in better ways too. There's some content that I could watch a video and I get it. Then there's other times where I just need to be in a classroom, uh, to just learn more, but then also ask a million and one questions. No more and no less. It's always a million and one, by the way. A million and one. And so the fact that this is encompassing it all, as well as it looks like the certification portal. So it's a, almost like, a, you know, it's your single pane view of everything that you'd want to be as a learner. That's yeah, the benefit, and, right? Know, it's a single stop shop um, for regardless of the modality that is most effective for you to learn new skills. Um, AWS training and certification has something to fit that uh, that preference. Wow. I'm yeah, being a get... senior technical. Sorry, Rob, go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Aaron. Um, I was going to say, I'm not going to get enough time unless you cancel the rest of your guests on your show to get into all of this, but I really want to show. I recommend you just jump around. Everybody who's listening right now, again, sign up for free. You can, you can jump around and learn more about these different modalities. And I see here we also have Cloud Quest. So you can get in, you can play some games, um, really start to uh, really get some hands-on experience. And I know when I teach classes, a lot of my learners, they they like to say, hey, how else can I learn more about the content that I that I was exposed to this week? I'll say, go to Skill Builder. And we oh, have man. this on-demand content. It's a great recommendation. Um, there are two things we're really, really excited about with our premium offering that's part of this subscription. 
Um, the first is going to be AWS Jam. So Jam is probably familiar to some of our listeners. Uh, Jam events are a really popular activity in a lot of our customer events. Um, they have groups of individuals competing with other teams um, to complete challenges within a sandbox AWS console environment. Our AWS Jam journey is a version of that available on demand to individuals with a subscription. Uh, we have one jam right now, jam journey uh, around security concepts, uh, and we have 10 challenges within that. Um, so what learners are, do is when they launch a jam, uh, they also launch a sandbox environment and they're tasked with solving a specific problem within that, uh, that configured sandbox environment. Now they can, they're not given any step-by-step -step instructions, but they can ask for clues. The trade-off is those clues cost them points. And so there's, you can see in this one, uh, a challenge here, there's a total of 80 points available. Um, if you complete the challenge uh, error free and with no hints, you get the full 80 points. However, each error and each uh, hint that you request reduces your score. And the, and the, the idea behind the full journey is that you, you finish with a minimum score. It's a little bit lower than the total score. So you're allowed to make some mistakes, but overall you're in a, you, you've made, you've completed enough of it and solved enough of the challenges to reduce the security issue. So Skill Builder uh, was launched in October of 2021. And then just last week, I think it was August 2nd, we now announced Skill Builder subscriptions with Teams. And this is like mm -hmm. a really neat way to gamify team learning. It's very unique. It's differentiated from what else you're going to find on, on the market in terms of professional development. Um, it's also a bit whimsical here. So I want to uh, I want to take you into one of these particular challenges here. Um, so, oh no, cats have taken over the Jam website. What are we going to do? Now the website's all about cats. We're going to have to launch this console environment uh, and solve whatever happened, whatever whatever um, security breach occurred to get these really smart uh, cloud adapted cats uh, um, to uh, to remove their website and replace it back with the Jam website. And for those that are watching that may have been to, um, you know, AWS conferences, this is the same Jam platform that is the competitions that happen at reinforce and reinvent and so this is you know the the same platform so if you're familiar with that and you want to be you know use this as a learning modality without the stress of you know thinking that you need to win uh this is a great way and i personally jams have been my big passion and i love creating jam challenges actually uh, one of those that's listed i happen to partake in i'm not going to mention which one but i'm very excited to see it there <laughs> yeah quick, quick shout out. like you need to win no it's always about winning uh, it is obviously it's the whole point of the cloud the uh so so uh, one other benefit of the team subscription for organizations is that they can actually create their own jam events so in addition to this on-demand individual experience uh for subscribed learners um the team subscription allows the learning admin to create their own uh jam challenges which is a really cool and powerful feature in a way to really you know sort of simulate a live uh cloud operational environment Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the next really cool and totally unique offering we have. That's AWS Cloud Quest. AWS Cloud Quest is a role-playing video game. Kyle, do you like role-playing games? I do. That was the only right answer, by the just, way. Just, just ask my parents during high school, they can never get me to leave the, the office. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Correct. Oh, this is all correct, accurate stuff. Here. I had this game okay. that I play on my phone and my kids are always asking me at night, hey, can we play that game? And I was like, come on, stop asking. It's my game. It's my time. My anyway, game. let's this go ahead and time. I just got yeah. some epic loot. Gosh. But now, but now it's time for Cloud Quest. Skills here, kids. Go to bed. Cloud Quest. <laughs> of course. And to Cloud Quest. So here I am. You've got, I, uh, here's my, um, uh, here's my uh, uh, Rob uh, uh, character here. So Cloud Quest, your your character has just Whoa, arrived. What just, at a new what city. just flew over? That was a shadow. I think you got Sorry. a drone hovering over here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but we got some drones hanging out. Don't worry, we're going to see some weird stuff going on in here. Uh, this okay. this city is full of of intrigue and a bit of whimsy. I'm so, excited. So, our character, our, our hero here, has shown up in a new city that's under construction, and the citizens of this city need our help to build the city, secure it, and help it grow. So what we do is we walk around and we and we talk with other citizens and they present to us challenges um, that we can interact with and, and help solve problems. All right, so my dude, let's hop on our pink hoverboard and let's take off. I'm cruising around the city here. 
out, checking out the sites here. And, oh, look, I got a citizen over here who needs some help. Hello, citizen. Now I'm going to move quickly through this. That's right. That's the polite thing to do is to wave here. Now I'm going to, I'm going to slam through a bunch of this because I want to be able to show off all of it. Uh, we're entering here a, a challenge or, or a quest, if you will. Um, and uh, the, each quest or assignment is made up of four parts. Uh, it's learn, plan, practice, and do it yourself or deliver. All of the above. The learn and plan part walk you through concepts um, similar to some of our free content. Uh, there's a, a few videos to watch. There's some text to read through. We have these really useful workflow diagrams that you're going to see um, displayed anywhere anybody's describing a, a cloud-based workflow in the AWS cloud. This walks you through this. Once you're ready to begin, you get these step-by-step -step lab instructions and you actually can start, you can launch a lab and we're going to see we are in the AWS Management Console environment now. And so what we do to complete this challenge is we walk through our step-by-step -step instructions and we complete a workflow, the assigned workflow within the cloud, and then we submit it through here. CloudQuest scores it, ensures that you've, uh, you've followed the steps correctly, and then allows you to complete the challenge. When you complete it, you earn credits that allow you to buy cool swag, you level up your character, and you unlock new parts of the city. Awesome. And you mentioned it before, it would take us all day to go through this, and I really wish we could spend all day. Um, is there a specific place where learners can go to learn more about this, maybe on demand or at their own time? It's just skillbuilder.aws? Skillbuilder.aws will get you there. Cloud Practitioner, for the, the Cloud Practitioner role for CloudQuest is totally free. You can do this too. You don't have to buy a subscription. Solution Architect, Serverless Developer, and Machine Learning roles are part of a subscription. You'll want to subscribe after you go through uh, um, uh, uh, the Cloud Practitioner one. How much time do I have, Aaron? I could talk about this all day. I know. I wish we had all day, but you know, we do have to move on. We have a whole lot of other stuff going on here. Rob, I know. Oh, dang, nab it. Um, maybe next time we'll we'll spend more time. Thank you so much for being here. Less than thank three in parts all the way out for each of you. Um, and to the skill builder team, thank you for making such an amazing product for our learners and gamifying it to make it fun. Rob, thank you very much. Much and appreciated. For everyone else, stay tuned. We have document Enjoy, DB coming everyone. up really soon.